Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have the Remote Duel Invitational Top 16, and this is match number 6, if you want to check out match 1 through 5 that I've commentated, I did post those on my channel prior to this video being uploaded, and this time we have Tim Meckle playing Drytron versus Gills Dale on Tribergate. I've actually, I don't know how, but like I recognize Gills Dale's name, again, I, I don't know why, but I do, but... They are going to start off with Tanky, and we do know that most Drytron lists right now have just completely cut hand traps from their list besides Orange Light. And even on Orange Light, a lot of people are cutting down the two of that. So the odds of them having a hand trap here are definitely way slimmer than like a Tri Brigade mirror match where like it's almost guaranteed they have one. And most likely they don't know what they're going up against because it is top 16. Once it's top 8, you 100% know what your opponent is playing. So maybe they're not going to like full combo overextend here just because they don't know it's a versus a combo deck. You know, Fractal Dump Kit, Kit Dump Nerval, Nerval Effect to go search. It would not surprise me. Uh, we saw Tim uh, try to like bait an Ash Boss and they were like, oh, uh, think on Fractal Effect. So it would not surprise me if later on throughout this turn they also try to bait more hand traps. Just be like, not bait, but like bluff I meant. I, I, def I meant bluff. Uh, if they go and try to bluff more hand traps, then activate and desires. So they are going to ask them if they would like to cut here. They're going to go ahead and cut the top two off. Then go ahead, banish 10. The sleeves look like they're sticking by the way that they're uh, doing this, which is unfortunate because this should be like one of the first matches they play with the sleeves. Uh, I guess Konami is just uh, passing out weird sleeves. Uh, I did see one person play with PC Whites. I mean, I, I think I'd rather play with like PC Whites than like these anime sleeves. But they do have six cards in hand now. We know that one is Fractal. It was added off Nerval. So I feel like they have Kuras Kit in hand already. So they're going to normal summon out Fractal and activate its effect. Letting this resolve. Uh, I can't tell what that is at all. Like at all. The picture is literally black. <laughs> that's wild. Okay, that's Blossom. And I have to assume that's silver. Blossom to draw and put back. Yeah, that was Blossom for sure. And that is silver for sure. Then go ahead, set two. And pass. So... They're going to have to have some hand traps here. Um, or most likely Drytron is just playing through this. It's like, you know, a Banish and probably like a Psalm Striker and Imperm set. You know, uh, Drytron can beat that. Hopefully they know how to use their interruptions correctly. A lot of players don't know how to use their interruptions correctly. And because of that, they just, they get slapped. <laughs> So, banishing from the extract here, I wonder if they're uh, one of those banished three or banished six people. Alright, banished three. Can't, can't be mad at it. Alpha, Idaton, and Diviner. Can't be mad at those. So they are thinking about what they want to grab here. Okay, so grabbing Diviner. Also, I can't wait. I'm almost done with the top 16 matches. I'm over halfway through. Droll game one. Droll game one. Oh, it doesn't matter how they use the rest of the interruptions. Get clapped, Drytron. Absolutely clapped. GG's. Talents to peep the hand. Most likely. 
Oh, they have double ash. Oh, they're so good. They're so much more talented than you. Oh my gosh. Double ash after talents to beat the hand. Like, what? That's crazy. Droll is just one of the best neg ones. Like Droll, Lancia. Very, very good. Contact C is like a neg two, really. Cause like you lose a card from your hand and put a card on their field. Very good card though. Uh, get rid of Zeta with Gamma. It's gonna summon out Gamma and the Zeta. So, we do know that the opponent at least has a revolt set. So they decide to go for the gamma play and then normal summon diviner and activate its effect. You know, they could have done this prior, but choosing to do it now. Go dump elder and then activate elder effect. Um, they're thinking about what to pop here. Popping the silver. So that is going, they did not chain it. Interesting. Um, so now... They are not going to have a tri brigade follow up because remember they are under droll, so nerval search is just not happening. They're gonna go for a Fafnir here, affect the dump, and then this will be dumping from the deck to the graveyard. Really interesting that they didn't change silver. Go dump alpha. Imagine if they had like Bell here. Whew. So it appears like they're thinking about what plays they want to do. They do know that like Revolt set. They're gonna activate Nova. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and Ash Blossom that. The only problem is, is like, Revolt for Omen doesn't actually produce any follow-up. I mean, like, it puts Omen on board, which isn't bad. Um, but it doesn't actually, like, give you a play for next turn or anything. So, yep, Revolt is resolving. Uh, they kind of have to do it there. Uh, like, you don't want to take the damage from Diviner and then, like, end the battle phase out it anyhow. It's like, you don't want to get hit with Zeus. So, summon out Silver and Nerval. And then go for Omen. And then they can Chain Block. Uh, you know, like, Omen effect Chain Link 1. Silver effect Chain Link 2. And Silver was properly summoned by using the Blossom and Fractal. So banish the Fafnir. They do have a lot of Drytron names though. So this is still like not good for Tri Brigade. Like if they have a Solemn Strike, they're not in a bad position because they can like stop an opponent's effect next turn. But drawing like a tri brigade here is really like key for them. Are flipping tanky. They are so good. <laughs> Dude, they. Okay, so Drytron admitted defeat there, right? 
I would have waited for them to add it. Because they already went through two Fractal. And they used Desires. So, like, maybe they banished one and they just flipped Tanky immediately. Why didn't it Drytron wait? No. No. We will never know. We will simply never know. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Unfortunate. I wait there. I wait the extra five seconds. Like, once they add Fractal, fair enough. Admit defeat. But until they add that Fractal, after already going through two and activating Desires, like, just you kind of just, like, hope they mess up. So normal summon out Diviner... Use its effect. Chaining Imperm on that. They do have an Alpha, an Ava. Can't tell what else is in the hand. It's too blurry. Alpha, Tribute Ultimateness. Yeah, so summon that and searching out from the deck. Uh, it also looks like they play Natasha. And they might also have Ritual Spell. Kind of revealing a lot here. This isn't very good for Drytron though. Like, they don't have another Drytron name. Uh, opening up, like, one name here is unfortunate. If they play Dragoon, they could do that. Alright, so just gonna choose to activate the ritual spell. You know, get rid of Alpha, summon out the ultimateness. The opponent does know the full hand of the Drytron player, and then they just pass turn here. So they do have a few interruptions. Uh they can ultimateness, discard Ben 10, uh negate something if they want to. Or they can just activate Oh, that's Alpha. Okay, so they're going to activate ultimate in this effect, get rid of Ava, and then activate Ava effect. This will be banishing the Diviner. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not letting them take that back. That's just like, that's not like a miss discard. That's like a complete misplay. That's... Literally discarding Ava and being like, ah, oh, oops, misplay. Like, I'm not letting them take that back. Come on now. So, they're going to discard Kit for Karaz. Then activating Kit effect to go dump. I wonder what else they have in their hand. They're going to need something good. Nerve all go search. The Ava is going to be able to grab multiple interruptions. You have to remember that you can banish off field and or graveyard with it. So you can banish like Diviner, Ben 10 if you want. Uh, you can banish like Ben 10, Diviner, go grab Orange Light, Diviner, Diviner being able to send Arc Light is a follow up by having a ritual monster. Uh, it does suck that you have to get rid of your Ben 10, but Ben 10 in graveyard itself is not like more follow up. Ultimateness on board is a ritual monster. Uh, so they could also just, like, not banish Ben 10. So, they normal summon Nerve Wall effect, banish 2, and they're going to chain Ultimateness, getting rid of Ava to negate, and they are going to... Wait, what? Oh, never mind. They The Nerve Wall looked like it was on field, but it wasn't. It was the one that they sent to Graveyard with Kit. That's my bad, so... They negated the Kuraz, and they're only banishing Ben 10. They don't know Divine. They don't, they don't know Ava can banish off board. They don't know Ava can banish off board. They don't know Ava can banish off board. No. No, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can just go like battle phase, attack, divine, or main phase two, fractal effect, banish two, the ultimate, and just negate that. Uh, I may as well get diviner off board. Uh, helps play around like a dragoon or something here. Or even just like it just gets diviner off board. Like they're 100% gonna negate. 
something at some point. <laughs> uh, yeah, Banish, Ultimate Ness Negate. Oh, gosh, it hurts to see. Set one back row, pass turn. If they wanted to, they could have let that <clears throat> gone through, but then, like, oh, they're going to top deck emergency, and they activate it in the imperm column. What the? What? 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 You have five choices to put your spell and trap in, and you put it in the one where it can get negated by an imperm. Like, they would have done it last turn, but, like, come on now. Come on. Go guard Gamma. Drytron is not playing very good here, but... You know, uh, it's very hard for Tri Brigade to actually break an ultimateness with three negates. Uh, they had they had four, plus like guaranteed follow up, but they decided not to go for that. Uh, Alpha effect tribute gamma. Uh, the problem is, is even if like they stop this. Okay, so they're gonna flip a revolt. I was going to say, if it's like a strike, the problem is even if they stop this, or like any like hand trap or something, then like Gamma contribute ultimateness to start doing stuff. So they're going to summon Omen. Alpha will be searching here. Grabbing Idaton. They do have Virtual Spell and Gamma in Graveyard to play with. Uh, they're going to be activating... Omen, Nerve All Kit, they want to chain block, they want to make sure that Omen and everything resolves here. It's like obviously the ultimate Ness Negate Kit, like, okay, who cares? <laughs> uh, you want it, like, you, like, you want Omen and Nerve All to go through. Those are, uh, you want a Banish to go through, you want your follow up to go through here. So. I feel like they're just going to banish Alpha because, like, Gamma can tribute Ultimateness to summon itself out, but then what are you doing there? Like, you can Ritual Spell, add back, um, activate, or you can't activate Ritual Spell, um, they don't have a target for it because it would uh, only have a thousand attack, so I'm 100% banishing Alpha here. Uh, Ultimateness just doesn't even matter, card's trash, not really, but... Like, in this scenario, it's just not crazy. It's insane how, like, they could have had a Diviner in hand, too, and this could actually just have made their turn, like, 30 times better. Yeah, Banish Alpha. Nice, nice. I 100% agree with that. So, like, Ultimate still has a negate, but the thing is, is, they need to top that good next turn for the next turn to actually matter. To where, like, Tri Brigade already has stuff for next turn. I. Oh, it's gonna be so hard for Drytron to win this. Like the misplays, the misplays, unfortunate. They're thinking about linking here, it appears. Uh, you know, probably on like Dragoon. Okay, probably not on Dragoon. Otherwise, they could have like Gamma Tribute Ultimateness, summon itself out, Ritual Spell, add back, and then turn those into an Anaconda and go for Dragoon. Dragoon pop Omen. Uh, negate Omen's Graveyard Effect with Dragoon, and then still have another Negate for the following turn. So, Normal Summon Out Kit. Effect Banishing 2. Um, kind of forced to stop this. Otherwise, they're going to be getting Omen Effect. Then kit effect on Nerval, Nerval search. Do they have a Kuraz? Or anything to discard for Kuraz? If so, this is just game. Oh my gosh, this was. 
Oh, they're adding Karaz. They forgot to do the Nerval technique. Uh, that's okay, though. Yeah, just a little mishap. A little misstep that happens. And they do! They do! GG's! GG's! Banish ultimate this off of Omen. Oh, they're not even using that right here. It doesn't matter. Go for Doom Eagle. Doom Eagle effect. Put back. They don't even have to do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. BM. BM. They're not using Omen effect to banish. Uh... Uh, <laughs> uh, they, uh, you don't know, Omen access code is 83 damage, and since they forgot to use the Omen technique to banish, they don't actually have game. The thing is, is their opponent does not have anything to play with, they cannot top deck one single card that will beat this. So, they still win, but... Definitely misplayed by forgetting the omen technique, but it's okay because the opponent forgot their Ava technique to banish diviner off board So it just doesn't matter. Okay, they're gonna keep going this route. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough uh, realizing their mistake and fixing it by uh, Just simply doing a better play uh, Well, not a better play, but uh, now that they messed up they have to do a different play. So I Like this. I like this. They realize their mistake. They're fixing it uh, this is all you can do after you make a mistake is just simply uh, adjust your plays. Make sure that you're not too focused on the misplay that happened. And uh, just play better. Uh, they can go ahead. I can't tell how many they banished here. Banishing three for silver. And then turning those into an access code. And now it is game anyhow. Okay, nice, nice. So, uh, GG's. We do see the Tri Brigade player win 2-0 in this matchup. They did win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, or this isn't DB. They did, use, they did win the Dice Roll. Yeah. Just go ahead and pop both. Or they only had Silver and Blossom Engraver because they actually banished the Omen. But that's still game though because it's 19, 19, 53. You saw their face after they won. They went, ah, I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so talented. Uh, fortunate that Drytron misplayed, but uh, it happens. Maybe they were just nervous because they were playing on stream. Never know. Maybe they don't know Ava can banish off a of board. We don't know what was going through their head. Only they know. And, uh, you know, it is unfortunate, but that is going to be it for the top 16 match number six. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.